agree to, and I call the member for camp. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Now, I rise in support of this motion uh, on acknowledging the significant progress that the Albanese Labor government has made in aged care, and I want to thank the member for Jagger Jagger for bringing this motion forward and this opportunity to talk about this incredibly important issue. Most of all, I do want to acknowledge the progress in aged care and the priority that our government has placed on aged care, and in particular, the incredible work of aged care minister Annika Wells over the year that we have been in government, and the things that have been achieved in that relatively short time, but importantly, her acknowledgement of the importance of having ambition for aged care. And the minister spoke about this at an address to the National Press Club recently, at which I was really pleased to, to be there and hear in person. And this shouldn't be a significant thing that we say that we have ambition in aged care. But it is because we have not seen that for such a long time. And I think it's really significant in, an, in a time where we have been talking about aged care a lot in, in the political sphere as, for as long as I can remember, and in a time where we have had a royal commission which has exposed some of the most harrowing experiences of Australians uh, in aged care, and that showed that over 30 per cent of people had substandard experiences in aged care, that this is the first time we are starting to talk positively about it. Because it is something that should be positive. It should not be normal that Australians are actually fearful uh, of themselves or their loved ones going into aged care. Um, and actually, when the minister spoke at the press club, she was the first minister for aged care to speak at the press club. Again, I found that so surprising in a time where this has been one of the key sort of policy issues of our of recent memory. And the minister finished her speech on a personal note about how uh, when she was studying she had worked in aged care and then her mother uh, worked for 15 years in aged care. And it really resonated with me because she said that when she was working there, the problems that she saw were the same problems that she saw coming in as a new minister a year ago and visiting aged care facilities all around the country. And it resonates with me because, as I've talked about before in this place, um, both my grandmothers were in aged care here in Canberra. And seeing their experiences, they are the same things, the same issues we are still dealing with. And when the Royal Commission came out, I honestly felt that anyone who's had a loved one in aged care while a lot of the stories and the findings that came out were completely unacceptable, they were not surprising to people because we had seen many of those things happen. And I've spoken before in this place about, particularly um, where my, grandma, my grandmother was in aged care here, that staff would be very dedicated and working really hard to do their best, but they just couldn't. With the resources uh, and the staffing shortages, they just couldn't care for the uh, residents in the way that they wanted to. So that really did resonate with me, and I'm very proud that our government is putting that ambition into this and wanting to see improvements. And in particular, that we have recognised the dedication and hard work of aged care workers in announcing a record 15 per cent pay increase, representing the biggest ever pay rise for aged care workers, overdue and much deserved um, for some of these people doing some of the hardest and most important work uh, in, this, in this country. And as I say, um, many of the aged cares that I've visited here in Canberra and also going back to when my grandmother were there, uh, absolutely these workers care so much and so we need to support them in that and the incredibly important work that they are doing. Labor has also committed to improving the facilities and quality of aged care um, for aged care residents and has legislated for 24-7 nurses um, and increased care minutes, importantly, which that will allow those workers to actually spend that time uh, with the residents there um, and ensure that they are getting the care that they deserve. Um, 
I've run out of time to talk about all the achievements we've made in just a year, but I think ambition is a really important part of this, that we actually want to see this be something we can be proud of and that people can not it can be, you know, look forward to the care that they'll receive. The question is that the motion be agreed to and I call the member for